Hi everybody! Um, so it's been a while since I made my princess tutorials. I wanted to first thank everybody for subscribing and for liking them and I've gotten a pretty um, positive response from everybody so uh, thank you so much. I think my most popular one so far is the aerial one which I kind of figured it would be because that's the one I was the most excited about uh, but I'm glad everyone liked them. Um, so I've been super, super sick for about a, a little over a week now. As you can probably tell in my nasally sounding voice. Uh, so I thought what better thing to do is to make a video. Get all glammed up instead of being sick looking because I feel very bad. Um, and do a video for you all. Uh, this isn't a tutorial per se, and it's not anything to do with uh, Disney or princesses. Um, what it is is that my, um, I guess, my adopted style, my social and trying to do complete lifestyle uh, for about a year now has been the retro vintage uh, look and living and uh, so this is kind of more for that uh, I wanted to share something that I discovered and I actually found out that it's it's online that you could find this really easily at the time I didn't really know that so um, my discovery kind of is not as cool now that I know that but uh, I found out that Revlon the cosmetic company Revlon has uh, been making some of their their shades of lipstick since the 50s. They still make them today and that you can buy them today. So this is what this uh, video is about. Um, I'm going to be showing you some red lipsticks by Revlon that you can purchase at pretty much any anywhere that sells Revlon. So Target and um, any uh, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, all the drugstores that sell Revlon have these lipsticks and they can be quite inexpensive and they're technically the exact same formula and shade as they were back in the 50s so this is kind of to show you that you can wear an actual red lipstick color that they wore in the 50s so these are the shades I'm going to show you. I have a little thing on my phone that tells me the exact dates that these are released. So the first one, um, <clears throat> their first color actually in 1950 was a pink. Um, I'm going to do the pinks uh, video later because I haven't purchased all of them yet, but I have purchased all the reds. So the um, first red Revlon made in the 50s was in 1951, and it's a color called Love That Red. And I have it right here. It's number, it's in their super uh, um, luscious lipstick collection. It's number 725. That's upside down or backwards, but um, it's called Love That Red. And this is what the shade is. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on my hand. Um, it's I would say more of a orange base, but it still has some blues in it. It's kind of pinky looking, I feel. Um, so that's the first one that you can purchase, and it came out again in 19. 51 and then the next one is actually the one I'm wearing today it came out in 1951 as well and it's called certainly red and it's number 740 and this is a darker blue base color you can't really tell on my well I guess you kind of can tell See, it's more blue, and that one looks more hot, like it looks more warm, and this one was a cooler red. Um, this, these kind of colors were more worn by, um, blue reds were more worn by blondes. Uh, 
really, I think it looks good on anybody, but um, with blondes for some reason and blue eyes, they, it, it, blue base um, lipstick looks, uh, it just looks better on them than a red one. Uh, the next one is going to be Fire and Ice. This was made in 1952. It's number 720. This is really, really warm and bright. Um, I don't know if you can tell here. It almost looks pink. This uh, is, and you can't really tell on the hand. Well, you kind of can. It's just a little lighter. On my lips, it's really, really orangey red, which actually I think is beautiful. I actually wear it with pretty much minimal makeup and it's absolutely stunning on. Um, I did do some research on Fire and Ice that tends to be more of their more popular color. Um, and when they re-released it, um, I believe Jessica Biel was the model that wore it. She's either that for that one or for Cherries in the Snow, I think. Maybe even for both. Um, and it was really into like more a high fashion look because it has more of an orange base to it. So it's quite shocking. Um, it looks great on pale skin. It looks absolutely beautiful and more olive skin and darker skin. I think that that would be a very favorable red for that skin tone. And even dark African American skin, it comes out like brilliantly. It's beautiful. So I highly recommend it. And then the last one I'm going to show you, it's going to be a pretty quick uh, video, is called Cherries in the Snow. And they actually came out with this one in 1953. And there is a nail polish as well, but I have yet to find it. It's number 440. And it's magenta. It's like a pink red. Um, it's the one at the top. It's beautiful. Um, I wear this a lot with this color, actually, with more of a, um, with my, this is a Betty Page sweater. Um, more of a blue color um, that, I mean, this looks good with red, too, obviously, but I love this with more, um, like, turquoise colors, which is very 1950s. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, again, they have a nail polish as well, but uh, I have yet to find it. The only pink one I have right now, which again, I'm hoping to get, there's pinks, reds, and corals, and I need to finish buying the pinks and buying the corals, because the corals are really cool, and they're like late 50s, early 60s, which um, if anyone is a Marilyn Monroe fan, uh, it's kind of the lipstick that she wore in Something's Got to Give, which is the film that she never finished. But there's a lot of pictures of her with the test shoots. She has more of like a coral orange lipstick. I'm pretty sure that might have been the color, but if it's not, it's very much influenced at the fashion at the time. I still need to pick those up. Um, feel free to go ahead and do it. I'm actually going to list in the description box the dates and the lipsticks and I don't know I don't have the number of all of them because I don't ha uh, have them yet but I'm just gonna put the names on there um, but the one I do have let's see what date it is love that pink was 1955 so after cherries in the snow let's just let that pink yeah and it's definitely a bright pink there. To believe it or not, um, I put this next to I, I I wore this and when I when I put it on my lips, it instantly looked like Max color in um, Impassioned, which is like super super Barbie pink. It's really 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 pretty. I love it a lot. Um, I tend to need to darken my eyes when I do that because I'm really 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 pale blonde and I'm extremely pale and since this is kind of like a pale pink I need to like darken up my eyes so if you have the same coloring and complexity I would I would recommend a darker definitely a wing black wing eye for that look but these are all the colors so let's see if I can get this right this is cherries in the snow 
this is love that red this is certainly red this is fire and ice and this is love that pink and I am wearing certainly red right now um so yeah I I hope this was really informative and it's really exciting for me I thought because I mean how how authentic can you get with your makeup if um, next to actually getting the product that was used during that time. Um, for lip liners, I always tend to, I don't ever really use lip liners. It's kind of a, supposed to be a rule with red lipstick, but um, if, if you get down the habit of how you know how to move on your lips, and uh, once your lipstick I call broke in, where it's like perfect shape to your lips, um, you don't need it, but uh, if you want to, I feel that for all three colors, all three of the red colors, um, Max Brick or Red, I think there's one called Red or Cherry, I can't remember, um, that's probably your best bet because you don't want it to overtake the lipstick. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and comment. I'm going to, even though I did kind of demonstrate the pink one a little bit, I am going to uh, get the pinks and the corals hopefully soon. Sometimes places like at CBS will have buy one, get one 50% off. Their price range, I've noticed, uh, tends to range from $4 to $8. To, I mean, $4 to, I was going to say $8.99, so that's $9. $4 to $9. $9 is a bit much. I would shop around. Um, for instance, I went to Target and it was $6.99. I went to Ulta and it was $7.99, which is down the street from it where I live. So just uh, keep an eye out. But it should be in every lipstick part of uh, Revlon. And um, again, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please ask. Thanks for putting up with my sickness. And I think I probably rambled because I'm a little loopy from um, <coughs> having a... Uh, Tylenol stuff in my head because I'm all stuffy, but uh, thanks for hanging in there with me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.